<laughs> in the last couple of days I've been having fun with you so-called flat earth believers and the reason why I say the word so-called because I still am convinced that it's a big scam you're a bunch of con artists fakes but let's run with the rhetoric let's have some fun here and run with the rhetoric so according to you guys I'm expected to just believe have faith in, in your bullshit and um, ignore everything that mainstream science has provided to this very moment right I'm supposed to place more value on what you've got to say above that of mainstream science so let's let's examine this and have a look so mainstream science has provided the world we live in today you know included including the benefits of YouTube making videos and leaving comments the, the same technology that you use and the same technology that you disregard and you call fake and it's quite ironic and it's quite ridiculous but anyway well let's move on so further afield so let's look at what as mainstream science has provided based on the globe working model it has made accurate predictions of both eclipses lunar and solar eclipse it has made accurate predictions of when a comet's going to fly by it has made accurate predictions well uh, uh, predictions in terms of a timetable of when a satellite's going to um, go by and um, mainstream science has provided a benefit of the of a satellite satellite technology to our benefit in terms of weather in terms of avoiding disasters and stuff like that thanks to mainstream science and the satellites that's up there we have reaped the benefits of natural disaster uh, avoiding natural disasters apart from, of course apart from an earthquake you know a, a, a satellite can't sort that out but in terms of the Japanese sat satellite and other satellites we've reaped the benefits of that so this is what mainstream science has brought to the table right so what has the flat earth movement brought to the table which is superior to what we have today what is the working model the groundbreaking newsflash model that the flat earth believers have to provide that's going to make mankind and our life on this world better than what it was yesterday what is this great fantastic revelation that the flat earth movement is providing what are they what have they brought to the table what is it they've brought to the table okay just because i don't know that doesn't mean something doesn't exist it doesn't mean that um it doesn't work there's a difference between me and you flat earth believers because i don't understand something or i don't know something that doesn't make that thing void or impossible because i don't class myself as the peak of understanding or intelligence like how you do you know because as far as you're from, from the questions that you ask because you don't understand how something works equals it cannot work and doesn't work because you don't understand it and yet and you're too f i was gonna swear you're too lazy to get up off your ass and work and, and learn how it works but anyway let's park that for a minute so instead of instead of but i have some advice instead of trying to convince me I, just a member of the public like me why don't you go to the institute get a peer review you know um go to an institute and convince them and then they and, and then they could put your working model in the school curriculum and so forth and you know if, if you've got something of benefit then go to the right people right i'm not gonna i'm not gonna make <laughs> i'm not gonna make any changes for you talking to me is not it's not gonna move your cause it's, you know if you've got some great revelation that mankind needs and mankind can can um do with i am not the person you need to be speaking to you need to be going to the institutes and and so forth if you have great technology that could benefit us you know like you've got better rockets that could take better footage of the earth better satellite technology you've got better technology then you know i'm not the person you need to be speaking to you you know go to the institute institute and we will see we we would see it you know so if you've got something to bring bring it 
But to my knowledge, to my knowledge, you've brought nothing. You've got you 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 bring nothing to the table. You do you the the so-called model, if I can call it. All of them has flaws in it. Every single one of them has a flaw in it, and I can't take it seriously because it doesn't fit. It doesn't work re reality. And the reason why it doesn't work reality because it, it requires you have to cherry pick and you have to ignore phenomenals in reality in order for it to work. You know, and I'm not that dishonest. You know, so until you have something, until you have something to bring to the table, you know. Um, we're not going to take you seriously. If you want to be taken seriously, you got to bring something to the table. It's as simple as that. You can write all you like, what you like. You're still bringing nothing to the table. You know, yeah. Um, I'm not interested in cherry picked floor diagrams. I really ain't, you know. And anyway, I'm not the, I'm not the person you need to be speaking to. As I said, I've repeated myself. So... You, you're wasting time. But anyway, my opinion, you're a bunch of con artists. And yeah, I, de I don't think there's such thing as a flat earth, believe it. I, yeah, I really, I don't know. <laughs> you guys are just, you guys are the Americans say, so you guys are just bugging. You're just having a laugh and, and so forth. And maybe you need someone to speak to. Maybe you're lonely or something and you just need so someone to chat to or whatever. And as, uh, as for that black guy or whoever, he, I can't remember his freaking name making out like um he's so ashamed that um that i'm not i don't believe he he's bullshit you you listen bro you you don't bring nothing to the table neither and if and if your belief is based on the bible yeah you better check out as a black man you better check out what you call it uh exodus 21 deuteronomy and Ephesians because it justifies slavery Yes, yes, it justifies slavery against your nigger ass, right? And um, and th there we go. So it's kind of ironic if if that's what you're propping up, yeah, you're you're you're, you're propping up the justification of slavery and genocide as well as a load of other stuff. So so you could be a house nigger all your life, all you like, but you know I've woken up to that a long time ago. You know, so if you want to be a house nigger, you're welcome to it.